I'm looking out on the dunes, and there's dune buggies running around, and somebody that didn't know how to drive very well got stuck on one of the dunes. And you could tell he was really stuck right down to the frame because it had these little big rooster tails of sand out the back, and he wasn't going anywhere. Other dune buggies are running around. I wanted to be come over the top of the dune, like this, the dunes, okay, this, the dunes over there, the, the, some of the big dunes are taller than the tallest mountain in Florida, and it's just made out of sand. <laughs> so, I know, that, and that's not sand very much, is it? <laughs> but I mean, that competition hill that goes way up there, and, um, but this one dude that came up one side and come down almost into the one that was stuck and they wormed their way around and then I heard the word go. Oh man. And I went. I was looking over there watching all the dune buggy stuff and I heard go and I went like this and I heard oh! and, I go, and I felt a bump that I hadn't noticed in his bump in the sand and I pulled to a stop. And I stopped and I'm looking over and you know, looking back, and the, the potters, dune buggy was just you know, a little bit behind me, and they're all going like this, and I'm looking over at the seat, and my dad isn't in it. And I look back where I was standing on the back of the dune buggy, and my dad isn't in it, or I'm standing on it. And I'm looking back, and, but there's a lump in the sand. It was kind of a dad-sized lump. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, oh no, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, oh man, everyone's looking and they're kind of looking at that. It's like a tennis match. They're looking at my dad and then they have to look over at me and then look at my dad. No one was helping me anything. They were just kind of stunned silence. No one was saying anything. Pretty soon the bump in the sand started moving and he kind of got up on all fours. He's trying to get his glasses emptied out of all this sand and he's cleaning his mouth out and spitting the sand out of it. And he, he finally stands up and I go, oh, he, he didn't look happy. And he started walking toward the dune buggy because he got left behind. He didn't hang on, right? And so he started walking toward the dune buggy and he is walking toward the driver's side. That's my side now. And he walked up there and he's dusting the sand off of him and he's trying to get it out some out of his clothes. I mean, I had hit him and, and it hit him in the back legs, pushed his feet in the sand and he went down on his knees and then the wheel went up his back, and pushed his face down and went right, oh, oh, right up his back, over his shoulders, over his head. He just flattened him right out. And so he walked up, he, was, he goes, Get on the other side. You're not driving. I had lost my chance to drive. Oh, man, even worse than all the embarrassment, I've lost my chance to drive. And aren't you glad God isn't that way? You make this one tiny, teensy, weensy little mistake. And, you know, just running over your dad, and you lose your, you're losing your chance to drive. And God, he sees us making mistakes all the time, sometimes big ones even bigger ones and he but he doesn't say your chance to try your chance to come home with me and be saved it's all gone he doesn't ever say that he forgives us and he forgives us and he forgives us over and over and over again no matter how many times we sin he keeps forgiving us because he wants us to be there with him now to finish the story my dad the next time we went out to the desert I got again finally but we went out to the desert and he wanted to show everybody that you don't get hurt when you get run over by his dune buggy in the sand so he, he sat down and put his legs out and he drove across well he put his foot out first he drove over his foot and he put his legs out and he drove over his legs and stuff and even with my experience my special experience of doing that sort of thing he didn't have asked me to do it he just had somebody else do it but he never let anybody drive over his head again. <laughs> so, so, anyway, uh, this our hand about the prayer. Dear Jesus, I want to thank you for your forgiveness. For when we make mistakes, big or small, you're always there ready to forgive us because you love us. You want us to give us peace. And you, and you want us to give us a home in heaven with you. Please be with us the rest of this day. 
Help us to be ever mindful of you. For Jesus' sake, amen.